My name is Priye Anga. I'm a junior political science major from Lagos, Nigeria. I came to Villanova from Nigeria because I knew I wanted a liberal arts education and that's not something that I could get there. So I came here and I'd do it all over again. I usually get up pretty early so I can make it to the Davis Center, work out for two hours before I go to my first class. I absolutely love working out in the morning. It's something that I never did before I came to Villanova. But I got here and I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. And now it's how I start my day every single day. And I really enjoy it. My name is Charlie Hannon. I'm from Darien, Connecticut, and I am a senior biology major. This is my fourth and last year. Typical day to day, what I'll do is I usually get up pretty much around 8.30. Um, I start my day at 10 o'clock going to animal behavior lecture. And then around 1 o'clock, I go back to animal behavior lab where we're doing an independent study project. And then that goes until about 3.30 or 4. And then at 4 o'clock, I have macroeconomics with Dr. Rissell. And then I'll usually do private tutoring around 5.15, 5.30 for an hour. My name is Marissa Weber. I'm from Lansdale, Pennsylvania. And my major is history. I always knew I wanted to be a history major since I was pretty young. Uh, I was always interested in the History Channel, um, which I figured was pretty unusual for someone who was in sixth grade. I knew I wanted to go to medical school, but I also knew I didn't want to be a traditional biology or chemistry major. I always figured college was a time to branch out in terms of learning. I'm about to head to Animal Phys. Animal Phys is my 8.30 class. The class is very interactive. He does a great job really getting us to learn the systems, getting us to learn a lot of the stuff that actually is on the MCAT is you have to learn in medical school. Why? The density of air is thinner. Well, okay, what about that? The parametric pressure. Decrease. Great class, I really love it. Um, really hard class, but definitely a great experience. Any ideas? Half a minute. Carbonic acid. Yeah, she's been there for a while. At the beginning of the semester, we did um, a lot of like experiments that were already pre-designed, but then for the second half of the semester, we were independent study projects. So Nick, Kelly, and I chose, formed a group, and we actually developed our own project. We had an interest in fish, so we said we wanted to look at zebrafish and see how their mate choices affected. Villanova gives you the freedom to kind of innovate your own educational experience, to model it after your own interests and your own, and your own needs to make you successful. So you got the, you're still doing the, the 50% area in the middle. Yeah. yeah. It works well. Working well. Yeah, I think so. One of the reasons why I came to Villanova was because of the faculty. And Villanova is an institution that the faculty and staff are dedicated to their undergraduate students. Even my liberal arts professors, where I knew I would only have one or two classes with them, I was able to interact with them and really form great relationships with them. This afternoon I'm heading over to the Writing Center, which is a great resource on campus. They help you at any stage of the paper writing process, so whether it's coming up with a topic or just rereading what you've written with them to kind of work out the kinks and how you can make it sound better. Do you have a prompt? Or yes. Yeah, that's what I want to show you. All right, cool. So yeah. we'll look at that and then we'll jump into things. I find it's helpful for me because it's always easier to spot mistakes if you're at the outside looking in than if it's me rereading my paper. So classes here are pretty perfect, they're pretty small, 20 to 30 students, with some of your seminar classes around 12 to 15. The lecture class I'm going to at 1030 is physics, and Dr. Holmes knows all of our names. It's a great class because you never feel like you're floating in the crowds. You really do feel like you're kind of part of an experience. The bar magnet points that way. So this is my senior thesis. I'm looking at the phosphate signal transduction pathway in fission yeast. So this is more of an independent study project, a way for me to practically learn how what I was learning in the classroom is useful in the real world. I'm heading down to NEMS, the Villanova Emergency Medical Services. The people I'm in NEMS with are some of my closest friends, so I have a lot of work to get done, but I kind of just want to hang out. Are we good to go? Good to go. G2G. So we're a student ambulance company. Um, we're run by student volunteers. We're not paid at all. So our crew is made up of cleared EMTs, cleared drivers, probation EMTs, and observers who are still studying the EMT process. That's what our crew is right now. And we're just actually heading out to have a crew dinner at Second Story on West Campus. Tuna and lettuce. And can I get it toasted? Toasted. Do you want the lettuce yeah. toasted? Uh, no. <laughs> A liberal arts education is important because you get to take sample classes from a lot of different disciplines and you're not just focusing on a particular subject area, which is harder in business or it's harder in engineering where you just 
literally focus on one thing. And I think it's great to get a broad range of experiences. I know I always wanted to go into medicine and I have a lot of medical experience and I know I'll become a great physician, but I think it's important to be you know, balanced in different fields. So I took macroeconomics and I took economics courses and business courses to see you know, if I decide to go into private practice or if I decide to go into healthcare. Looking at business cycles and other things like that is really really important for the kind of the full development of the individual so that you kind of not only are adept at caring for patients, but making sure that you're most cost efficient dealing with those or whatever it may be. One of the other things I'm involved with at Villanova is teaching for general biology and for general physics. Hey, how are you? Every Wednesday for physics, I tutor general physics students and help them out with any homework that they have or in preparation for tests. I1 has a current of five amps and I2 has a current of eight amps, right? Being an RA is um, it's a really interesting job. I, I think it gets you very involved in the community because you have to do community builders with your residents and make sure that you get to know them and that they get to know each other. So when you're doing that for other people, you're also doing it for yourself. It's also great because you get to meet other people that are trying to be like role models and leaders on campus. When I chose Villanova, I knew that I would receive an outstanding education. Not only have I grown intellectually, but having the opportunity to grow socially. With the mentorship of phenomenal faculty, I realized how much of a whole, well-rounded education I've really received. And my time here at Villanova has made me the person I am today.